All right, in the meantime, uh, a clear front runner in the race for the Oval Office, at least when it comes to business leaders, John McCain, a four to one favorite among CEOs. That's according to the latest Chief Executive Magazine poll. 74% saying they fear an Obama presidency. Analysts say it's because Obama's policies are seen as redistributing wealth as opposed to McCain's who are thought to be pro-growth. Well, Herman Cain is the former CEO of Godfather's Pizza, now CEO and president of The New Voice. Thanks for being with us. What's Thanks, your Greg. view? Uh, who's better for jobs and business and growth, Barack Obama or John McCain? Clearly John McCain, Greg. I've been a CEO for 22 years, and clearly the 80% that favor John McCain that you indicated earlier is indicative of the fact that CEOs know who and how to create jobs and every policy, every idea, every campaign crumb that Obama throws out would destroy jobs. Like what? So Give me an example. Give me one or two. Uh, for example, Barack Obama wants to raise the capital gains tax. That kills jobs because the people who create jobs invest the capital gains. Secondly, this $250,000 uh, limit that he's now talking about, mo there are very few people who draw a check for $250,000 a year. But there are hundreds of thousands of businesses that generate $250,000 a year that gets counted as income that they use to run their businesses, like the comment he made to the plumber the other day. Yeah, let me just repeat for viewers who, who didn't hear that. A plumber went up to him and says, look, uh, Senator Obama, I I'm about to buy a, a small business. It's, it's going to get income of two hundred fifty to $280,000 a year. I've worked hard all my life, and I'll fall into the category uh, of taxes that you're going to raise. And Obama said, well, it's, I'm just trying to spread the wealth. Is that kind of a, a Robin Hood, steal from the rich, give to the poor? And I don't think that plumber thinks he's rich. <laughs> Greg, that's not even close to Robin Hood. That is, just, that is just socialist thinking. There are more plumber-like businesses out there than there are individuals drawing $250,000 a year. That's why many of the CEOs in the survey said that they feared at the impact of an Obama presidency. Um, let me just read a couple of comments from CEOs out of the magazine. I thought they were pretty provocative. Uh, here's one. I'm not terribly excited about McCain being president, but I'm not sure Obama, if elected, will have a negative impact on business and the economy. Another one said, Obama has shown his inexperience in many of these ideas. Some of his planned programs would bankrupt the country within three years if implemented. I checked that with two nonpartisan uh, tax groups, and they concluded that if you use all of Obama's programs and you include some of his cuts, it would still cost the nation $300 billion a year. What would that do to our economy? It would slow it down even more than it is slowed down now, or it would slow it down even more than what we should expect next year as a result of the current situation. Here's one thing that, here's one thing, Greg, that wasn't pointed out in the survey. If you look at John McCain's economic advisors, they are CEOs or former CEOs and business people. If you look at Obama's economic advisors, they are politicians and academics. Hmm. To me, that says why you end up with what I call reckless proposals by the Obama campaign, All right. reckless ideas relative to the tax code, because he's being advised by people who have never made All a right. payroll. Herman Cain, we're going to have to leave it at that. We're running out of time. But thank you so much, Herman Cain. You're appreciate welcome. it. Thank you.